All right, so this video I'm going to keep short. Um, what it is is uh, I'm going to teach you how to bring Adobe Illustrator SVGs into React and create components um, with SVGs. This video assumes that you know a little bit of Adobe Illustrator and know a little bit of React. Um, I use a functional component, um, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Um, so let's get started. All right, so right here, I already made an icon here, just in a simple circle uh, with a plus sign. Maybe I'll make it a little curved just for fun. <clears throat> all right, so the first thing we want to do is save this as an SVG. So all you have to do, press Save As, click SVG in the drop down here, save it, name it. Save it wherever you want to name it. Save it wherever you want to save it. Okay, I already saved it. Um, second thing you want to do is uh, go into your React app. Um, I created a React app with Create React App. <clears throat> and I just made a pretty simple functional component. Um, just a normal setup. I'll show you that it's working here. Okay test. All right. So uh, pretty simply, let's head to our uh, SVG that we just saved. I saved it in here. So it's accessible. Um, first thing we first thing we want to do is just look at this, um, see how it works. Uh, you can see that the SVG tags are on the outside and then everything inside is what composes the SVG. I'm not going to get too into detail, but you can take a look and see that uh, we have the fill. Uh, for that white circle that we made. Everything else kind of defaults to black here. Um, here's our circle. It has that class, the white, and then everything else are just paths. Okay. So um, you might want to just copy and paste this top part, uh, but I've found that all you really need here are these few elements of the SVG. So I'll copy and paste this. Okay, so all you really need, the width, the height, the view box, and then these two tags here. All right. I like to set my width and height to 100%. This way I have more control over it when I, I just put the div around it. You just change the div around it. All right, so let's bring in the, the actual body of the SVG. That's this stuff right here. All you gotta do, copy and paste. All right. Now, as you can see here, we're going to have to change this class to class name. That's just a React thing. Let's keep this as ST0 for now. And let's hop into our app and see what it looks like. Um, it is not looking right because if you take a look at our view box, our view box should be 300 by 300. And right now I have it from a previous icon that I made, 250 by 250. So let's do 300 by 300. And it's working. Now, why is it working? It shouldn't be working. Let's change this to something else. When you first bring it in here, you're not going to have a class ST0. So it's going to look like this. I have a class called ST0, and I created it in my app up here. It's just the app.css ST0, and I filled it with what it told me to fill it with here. And that's really it. So you can change this to whatever you want, change up the colors. Save that. And there you go, you got an uh, icon, SVG icon in React. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, I may go into depth in another video, uh, just talking about how you might want to use your props um, to change information down here, or um, I might want to uh, import material UI in here and use the make styles 
function, which allows me to style my icon right inside this component so I don't have to go to the app.css. Anyway, that's just a short um, synopsis of how you might bring an SVG into a React component. Um, please subscribe. I'm going to continue to make more React videos as well as uh, Adobe Illustrator videos. And uh, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.